I'm Weston Germain, pitching coordinator at MASH Baseball. I'm going to walk you through using the pulse sensor and getting set up to do that. So before you, before you even open the box, you need to download the Pulse Throw app to your iOS device, and you need to create an account with the athlete's email. When you create this account, it's important that you put in an accurate height and weight measurement because those are built into the elbow stress and one-day workload numbers. So make an account, put in accurate information, and then email me at weston at mnmash.com, the email that you used. That way I can request access to your data. So when you open the box and you get the sensor out, the first thing you need to do, and this is really important, is you need to take a picture of the serial number on the back of your sensor. This will rub off over time, and if you cannot see it, it will be impossible to link it to your phone. So take a picture of that, add it to your favorites. It also comes with a couple stickers with the serial number on it. Put those somewhere, but make sure that you have a record of what the serial number is for your sensor. Uh, the next thing is, is that you need to charge it. A quick tip with charging the sensor, there is no on off button. So if you put it in your bag and it jostles around all day and you come to the, the facility or the field, it will be dead. So you need to either, when you get to the facility, plug it in when you get to the facility, or you need to have a portable battery pack that you can plug it into in your bag so that it's just always on a charger and you can pull it out and be ready to go when you get to the field. Once you're logged in to the app, you are going to open your account and in the top right hand corner, click the sensor, add sensor, and you'll use the serial numbers on the back and the Bluetooth to link your sensor to your phone and your Pulse account. So when you open up the strap, this little piece here goes in and we'll wrap around. That's where your forearm will go through and you want that snug around your forearm. You can adjust it once it's on, pull it tight. This shouldn't need to get adjusted very often. Okay, notice the white triangle is facing down my forearm. Okay, then this strap will come around like that. When you put the sensor in the pocket, the triangle goes in like this. Then once it's in, the white triangle on the strap faces down your forearm. The sensor and connect it to your phone. You have to check to see if there is any bad data on the, on the sensor. There'll be a red exclamation point in the top right hand corner if there is data from it jostling around in your bag or something else. You can click that and delete the data to make sure that you have a clear sensor when you begin your throwing for that day. To get immediate feedback during your throwing session, you can click the beaker in the bottom right hand corner and click live. And with your sensor connected, you will receive throw by throw feedback throughout your throwing session. If you have any questions as you are working through this, getting the strap set up, getting the account set up, you know where to find me. Uh, I'll be in the cages Monday through Friday, or you can shoot me an email at weston at mnmash.com and we'll get you all squared away so we can start using this to track our workload and individualize our throwing programs. Yeah.